Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and today we are doing the review on the Spartan Hersey Folder 3.25. So this is the smaller version just so you can see the difference between the large version and the smaller version. That is the large version. Now this knife was sent to me by Floydian. Thank you very much bud. I really appreciate you uh letting us check out so many of your knives and letting me hang on to them for as long as I have because it is the holidays so you know everybody knows how mail is so thank you very much man now let's get into this badass knife so I just want to say right off the bat I do love this knife I like this knife a lot I love its build quality there's just so many things to like about it let's just jump right into it so I did use it um, quite a bit. I did bring it to work a couple times. I didn't get too much footage at work cutting, but I did get a little bit of footage. Now I will say this thing is not the best cutter. It, it's, uh, you know, it does cut and it does work. So, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't cut, but going through materials, it does, you know, it's a little thick behind the edge. You know, this is a lot thinner blade stock than the full size version. So I do think it benefits from that. But I did not do a full sharpening. I'll show you what I did to it here in a second. But having the factory angle and the factory edge on it, I'm sure it would totally benefit. I laid the edge back. But I did uh, cut up some cardboard and then there were some straps I cut, stuff like that. So then uh, afterwards, you know, I, uh, I thought, I felt like it uh, needed a little something of a tune-up. I didn't want to do a full sharpening on it, seeing as how it has a factory edge. And it wasn't, you know, that bad. It's not like it had any real damage to it or anything like that. The only reason why I would want to put a factory edge on it is basically to make it cut a little bit better. But what I did was I stropped it on this new stropping compound I have from Veneve. It's a diamond compound that is very aggressive. And you'll see the factory edge. And if you notice, look at the factory edge very closely. You'll see the factory edge is the grip pattern goes straight up and down on the edge. And, you know, it, it was an okay factory edge, but uh, the angle I didn't really like. But anyways, so I started stropping it stropped it on my diamond compound didn't really take that long put a few passes on it and then here is the the new edge after stropping it now you can really tell the difference between the edge from the factory edge and after stropping i didn't do that right there that uh was from the factory the two uh, different angles where it begins the edge. But the grip pattern is from the stropping. Now, I did not sharpen this. This is all just from stropping. But you can really tell the difference in the grip pattern from before I started stropping. So the, the stropping helped a lot. It did bring the bite back to the edge um, a little bit. Now, it's not the sharp. I mean, it'll shave hair and cut paper and stuff like that. But just going through and passing through materials, you know, I just feel like the angle that they use isn't the best. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's an EDC knife. It's not going to be like a hard use knife. It's not going to be... I mean, I guess you could use it as a work knife, but it's not going to be your 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 ultimate slicer. In 24 thousandths behind the edge, the blade stock thickness, like I said, is much thinner than the large version. And this version that I have is S35VN. This one is an S45VN. And there are a few places that sell these. One of them that I know for sure is GP Knives. Now, this is all titanium. All done in America, or sorry, USA. 
and you can see the S45VN right there. Let's get into this action. So the action is very snappy. It is running on phosphor bronze washers. Let me show you that really quick. You can actually kind of see them through there. So it has a bigger one and then a smaller one on the other side. The bigger one being on this side, smaller one being on this side. Now, the action, it's definitely an action first of all that you want to let break in it's going to be a little stiff probably when you first get it so you want to continue to use it you know and open and close it and let them washers really break in but once they do it is super snappy you can easily reverse flick it and it's got that uh that tight pivot feel kind of like a sabenza in a way, I mean, the washer system is definitely a lot like a Spenza 2. The thumb studs are obviously very different. Slow roll is very nice, very, very smooth. It's got the same friction and the same tension from open to close. Nice clicky detent. And then I love the lockup. The sound of it is just, you, you know it's locked up and you feel it lock up no play whatsoever the lock bar they have this cutout right here for your finger to basically wrap around right there but it also since they uh they did leave it a little bit higher than this side so it's easy to get to you basically just put your finger right on the face of it and push over it's easy to unlock It's not a drop shutty knife for sure, but you can do the slap shut where you basically just unlock it and slap it shut. The reverse flick is very nice. Now the ergos, the ergos are pretty nice on this thing. It does kind of remind me a little bit of like a small Sabenza. And we'll do some size comparisons between some knives here in a moment, but it has a very neutral grip. I love this type of grip, even for this small of a knife. It has a good thickness right here. So for a small knife, you actually get quite a bit of purchase. So you can get all fingers around and it really locks in. Now it does have jipping on the spine right here. And right here. And then on the front right here where your pinky lands. So you really lock it in for sure for such a small knife. Now, this chipping right here is back a little farther than I would use. My finger kind of lands right up there. But and it does work in lots of positions for cutting, for push cuts. It just, it works. Now, unlike the big one, you can't really front flip this one. So, but the big one you can if you do attempt it. Or if you try, I guess, hard enough. I love the, the raw titanium look. It's very nice. Um, and then, unlike the big one, if you look at the pivots, you see they used a big one on this side. This actually acts as an over-travel stop. So, because on this one, the over-travel stop is right there. On the inside. Kind of like the, you know, kind of like a, a, a hinder. But this one, it's right here done by the pivot. So that is a difference between the two is that it's the same size on both sides. And the other one is big on one side, small on the other. A couple more good things really quick. The hardware is done really good. I love the hardware. Nice big hardware. And, and it's good hardware, too. T8s on the clip, T8s on the spine, T8s all over. You see you have this little pin right here, which I like how they put the Spartan helmet on there. So if you want to reverse the clip, you can take this, this um, plate and put it on this side. I like the markings on it. I'm usually not one for too much uh, blade, you know, writing, but this looks really awesome. Um, I think it just looks cool. It looks like a tool. It looks tough. I like it. I like it a lot. I love the way it looks. Now, the S45VN, I can't, 
you know, speak on if it's better than the S35 or anything like that. I really can't speak on it. I didn't cut with it enough to really speak on that. Um, so, but let's go over some bad things. So, one, I kind of already said it, the cutting performance isn't the best. Now, it does cut. So, I don't, you know, obviously you've seen me cutting with it. It does cut. But it just it seems like it binds up a little bit. And then going into the material, like when you first start it off, it doesn't have, like, especially with this angle of the edge, it doesn't bite into materials quite as much as I'd like. But, it, you know, if I laid the edge back, that would change 100%. But going through materials, you know, it's not going to be, like I said, an ultimate slicer, but it does cut. So it, to me, this is a, a straight EDC knife as, you know, basically what it's designed to be. You know, a tough EDC knife and it fits that purpose. Great. Um, another bad thing. Now, this is again with the blade, the choil area. You know, I mean, I wish they would have put in a sharpening choil. It's not that big of a deal, but at least this thing, at least take these sides right here and just drop it straight down. Kind of like, like, let's say a spider co. Just drop it straight down. Don't do the taper to the edge. You see how the plunge grind tapers to the edge right here how it slowly drops down to there so then you have a false edge right here i know you can put your finger there and i have actually done that pin, done the pinch you know cuts so i do like that but i'd rather be able just to sharpen all the way back to right here you know this way i can't start sharpening till right here and eventually after sharpening a few times this is going to be down here and the edge will start going up to here so you know but not that crazy big of a deal and if it's a user for you um then that's not really going to matter that much you know but if it's a user and you care about the beauty in it and you you want the edge to look really good you can always just cut yourself in a little choil it's pretty easy for me but i know a lot of people you know might not be uh might not be able to do it so that's why i'm bringing it up now another thing is the clip okay so on the big one the clip works great and this clip works great too it kind of feels small though and it's kind of hard to explain but it basically kind of feels like like when you put it in your pocket, you feel like you should be pushing it up farther. You feel like you have a little tiny clip on a big knife. And I'm not saying this is a big knife. I'm saying the way it feels. It feels like it's a small clip when you put it on. And you feel like you want it to push in deeper or you feel like it should begin earlier and i know the way it looks it looks like it would be just fine and it does carry just fine i'm not knocking that it's not deep carry or anything like that i, I i'm just saying like the tension and the size of the clip because basically only this much is hanging on and it just feels very small it feels basically like this is the size of your clip when you when you have it in the pocket it's kind of hard to explain but i did it was just something i noticed every time i put it in and out of my pocket and with a knife like this you kind of do have to nitpick because one it's a little expensive it is um but i like it i like this knife a lot now if it had a great like if it had a hollow grind oh my god this would be so amazing such an amazing knife with a hollow grind or possibly with just a little bit better blade geometry but Besides that, I mean, I love the knife either way. I think this is a fantastic knife. The build quality, the size of the stop pin is great. Um, this jimping right here is done so well and it works really good for when you're popping straps. I mean, it just bites into you. It feels really good. Um, the action is so smooth. There's just so many things about this to really like the build the the hardware the the name <laughs> love the name of this knife and I, I i really love my big one and these small ones are a little bit more 
pocket friendly, I guess, or a little bit more friendly to people when you pull it out because it says knife. It doesn't, you know, you could really get away with pulling this out, you know, and making a cut and nobody really being scared. I mean, it is a smaller knife. Let's do some size comparisons really quick. Here is the Quiet Carry Waypoint. You can see they're pretty close in size, especially if you go from back here. Here's the Benchmade Bug Out. You can see the Benchmade Bug Out is a little bit longer. Here's the Hinder um, XM18 3 inch. You can see they are about perfect with each other. And then the Zero Tolerance 0450. And here's a Civivi Elementum. Civivi Elementum is about perfect with it. And then the, the Zero Tolerance 0450 is also a great size comparison. All in all, amazing knife. I really do love this knife. This is like a knife that's right up my alley. It's very tool-like. It has that look I love. Um, there's just a couple things, you know, and for a knife to have just a couple things that's you know that that's an amazing thing in my book so the the my biggest thing is i do wish it had a little bit better blade geometry uh but yeah fantastic knife thank you floydian for letting me check this thing out i do really appreciate it it's an it's an absolutely amazing knife and anybody who has one knows exactly what i'm talking about peace